Good morning and what is up? I'm back and I'm giving you guys exactly what you guys are here for. The LS swap start right now. But before we do that, there's a couple things that I need to explain and the reason why I haven't just jumped on this, thrown it in the car and already had content for it is because I've been waiting for all these pieces to show up. I still have more coming um, and I'm also making some changes. So I'm actually getting rid of this. I'm gonna leave the um, intake, but I'm gonna get rid of the throttle body because I got a factory drive-by wire. Um, it's not a huge like throttle body or anything like that, but the reason why I did get this throttle body is because it's drive-by wire and I can put a pedal commander on it um, and tune it and do a couple other things that I wanna do with it. So that will be one of the changes. Also, if I come around here, you can see the engine is still in the car because I figured, I live in California and California has the strictest smog laws. And so I put some cats on here and we're gonna go get it smogged today. So that's gonna be the first thing is we're gonna get this smogged. And then when we come back, then we're gonna start doing stuff with this. I'm gonna probably take the throttle body off, put this one on. Um, I also got my new pan, you can see from Canton Racing right here. So we'll be taking this off, switching the pan over because the pan is a front sump for the 350Z and the G35, it has to be a front sump. This one's a rear sump, I can't use it. So that being said, why don't we get the car started, get it warmed up and start heading over to the smog shop. to the smog shop. Hopefully this thing passes. Okay, so she passed. So I'm gonna be able to get my registration and yeah, then I'm not gonna have to mess with it for two years. So we're cruising back to the shop right now. Last time I'll be driving this engine, but she passed. Back in the shop safe, everything's good. Ugh. All right, well, that's it. So, car smogged, um, I'll be able to get my registration, and now we can move on to the fun stuff. So, oh, and so the engine giveaway winner, Mike, thank you very much for letting me use your engine, because it's yours now, um, to be able to get my car smog. So now I can actually move forward, bring the car in here, pull the engine out, and get it sent off to you. So my apologies that it's taken a little bit longer than hoped, but I wanted to make sure that I got it smogged and uh, make sure everything was still running right. So that being said, now we can move on to the LS stuff. Okay, so first things first, I need to grab a couple toys to come over here. And I'm gonna be taking off this throttle body like I said earlier. Um, I'm changing it to the drive-by wire one. So we're gonna take this off and I'm actually curious to see because I didn't install this um, if this drive-by wire is gonna work on here. Okay, so now as you can see, it's been pulled off. I might actually not be able to put this on here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Wrong way, stupid. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work. That's a pretty big O-ring and that's for the 102. And this one is only like a 90 or a 87. I'm not sure what the factory one is, but you guys can see it's a very big difference. So 
I don't know. Back to the drawing board on what I'm gonna do with this intake. I still might use this LS31. The LS31s are about the best flowing um, intake manifolds that you can get for this um, without spending like $1,500. So I'm kind of going back and forth. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I've been looking at it and the other thing is you can see the thickness of this where the bolt goes and how thin this is. So I was trying to measure with this type of bolt. This is all that I have that came off the other one. So I need to get different bolts anyway. So I don't know, right now it's kind of coming to a standstill. I need to figure out if I'm gonna be using this manifold or if I'm gonna go back to the LS3 manifold. Um, the LS3 one will probably flow better. I heard that there's gonna be like some dead spots that might slow the air down. I'm not doing anything real wild as far as power goes for this. Um, I wanna get it in, get it situated and make good power, reliable power, and then I'll start tweaking with it. So I'm kind of going back and forth. So I don't know, it looks really pretty and I really like how it looks, but I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm probably gonna pull it off and sell it. And then I will put the LS3 one back on. I am keeping these though. I like how these look. And it'll be really easy. I can get the uh, fuel line kit that comes off here and we'll go straight down to the metal line in the car and then it'll be really easy. So um, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to kind of mess with it right now and we're going to see what, what happens. Okay. So we're in a new day. Last night I was messing with this thing, going back and forth, trying to figure out if I was using this, if I was going to use this manifold, if I was going to go back to the LS3. So what I figured out is that this manifold actually works with this throttle body. You can see all the way around. It actually looks pretty good. So I think I'll be leaving this on. Um, I was also concerned about the map sensor. The map sensor doesn't have a hole for it back here on the LS3 manifold. It actually goes right there in that hole. So I was trying to figure that out, but there is vacuum ports hidden underneath that I could put a vacuum line to it um, and it can kind of sit back here. I could drill in here and um, mount it that way. So I got plenty of options. So I'm gonna leave it like this and now we have the throttle stuff figured out. Next thing I need to do is I need to pull this pan off and I need to see if there's oil in it. I don't know if there's any oil in it because I got it from the guy and I don't know what he was doing with it. It does have a filter on it, however, um, and it looks like it's kind of leaking oil a little bit, which kind of worries me because it's probably has oil in it, but I don't know, we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna try and empty it real quick and then I'll turn the motor over. That's the beauty about having this engine stand. I can turn it over, I don't have to be on the ground, I don't have to lift it up on a hoist. So yeah, it's working well. So anyway, um, I'm gonna see if there's oil in it, drain it, and then we'll flip it over and we're gonna get that Canton pan on today. All right, so looks to be dry completely dry for that matter. There's not even any oil trying to drip out. So I'll lock this back down and then we'll flip the engine over and I think we should be good. So I turn the engine over. You can see it's real easy to get to the pan and we are gonna take this one out. So this is the new one. You can see, oh, I'll grab that in a minute. But this is the new one. It's a front sump, as you can see. All the bolt holes and everything will line up. And then it just has its own windage tray in there. So everything should bolt up. There is a new pickup with O-ring. And then we have the dipstick. So it's time to take this one off, check out what it looks like inside change the pickup and then uh, keep on going from there. to use both hands to take this off. Okay, so you can see this pan was actually never used. It's like brand new. All of this is just residual. There's no oil in there. So when you come over here, look how clean it is. Well taken care of. 
I'm excited about this. But you can see that the um, pickup goes all the way like this for a rear sump. So the nice thing with this is that it's a front sump. So it'll plug in there and then it'll bolt probably to here and then it'll be front sump. So really plug and play, but let's get started. Okay, so now you can see that I have the pickup for the front sump on. It uses the same bolt here and then it's a 12 millimeter nut that just goes over top. You can see in between, you don't have to take this one off you just set it on top and then you use this one to hold it down. So this has that O-ring inside and now everything's ready to go. Um, on any time you do an oil pan or a timing cover or something like that, make sure, do you see where this metal brake is at? Here, here, here for like the covers. Make sure that you use a silicone, like a form and place gasket like I use for like Toyota. Um, anything that's a silicone to Make sure that you put little dabs there when you put the pan on because this is the area that it will leak if you don't do that. So I'm going to clean it off real good and then I'm going to set the pan on. Okay, so I got the silicone on. You can see kind of squeezing out from each side. I set the gasket on and now everything's ready to go. All I need to do is set that on. All right, so I ran into a little bit of a snag. Um, I don't have the right bolts for this. These are the factory bolts. Um, and I mean, I guess they'll do, but they don't look good and I want them to look good. So for some reason, I guess uh, Canton Racing didn't send the bolts that go with it. So I just got a hold of ISR um, and they're gonna send them to me. So it'll be like one or two more days, but as far as you can see, everything on here looks how it should be. So when I get the bolts, I'll throw the bolts in and then it'll be ready to go. But I wanted to show what the final product will look like um, I'm just waiting on the bolts. Okay, and now as you can see, the pan is on, able to clear the subframe in the 350Z because it is front sump. So we're rocking and rolling now. Stuff is getting put on. We got the throttle body stuff figured out. Um, and I don't really have any other parts for this. I do have this for the remote um, oil filter, but I'm not gonna put that on until I get the bolts from Canton Racing to put on the pan. So. I think that's pretty much it for this vlog. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have any other parts going on this. Um, I got a hold of ISR and I have some other parts that are coming for it. So that will be part of the next vlog. However, the, all other, uh, the other part of the next vlog will be me pulling the engine out of that and setting and prepping the engine bay for the LS swap. So it's happening. And I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Sorry that I haven't gotten a vlog out. I've been helping Mike a lot with the vet um, and we've had a lot of like customer cars here. You can see how many of these VQ swaps and I got one over here. I have a car way out there that I'm working on. I got more coming in on Monday, so I've been busy. So it's not that I'm trying to neglect you guys, not that I don't have content to show you. It's just, I mean, I'm a one man show right here. You can see it's just me, but anyway, yeah, so we're gonna be rocking and rolling on that. So I'm gonna call this vlog. The next vlog will be out in a couple days. I'll be taking the motor out of there and then we'll be keep, uh, we'll be keep moving on with the stuff on the LS. So I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for sticking around. If you don't follow me already, follow me on Instagram at the Crooked King. Follow me on here, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.